to reverse and send down to our great progenitor, Ududua, who yeah. hailed from Ide Ife. Yeah. And Ududua was the first order of Ife. And that has passed on till today that we have the 51st Oni of Ife, who is a descendant of the 44th Oni of Ife. I'm proud and happy to tell you that today's Oni of Ife is a chartered accountant by training. He's a man who has been a couple of thousand widows, over 200,000 youths to engage them in different jobs and improve their capacity to earn money by themselves. This has gone beyond the normal expected job of a monarch. But this is a monarch with a difference. When you see Oni of Ife is the co-chairman of the National Traditional Council of Nigeria. He is the Chancellor of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Of course, he has won several awards locally and internationally. It's my pleasure to give you his entire name, Olofi Adimula Odua, or Nele Dumari. I don't want to say on you, Michelle, here. <laughs> Even though I know so called Nele Dumari, Kabiesi, Babatunde, any tongue. So I will urge all of us to be upstanding as we welcome him with this song. Can we put hands together once again for the Emery Mall of Michael Ajayi? Can we still need it? Can we still need it? His Imperial Majesty, Oni Adeyeyi, Baba Tunde, Eliotong, Ogumusi, Ojaja II is the 51st Oni of Ife. Since 26 October 2015. His Imperial Majesty is the ruler of the ancient kingdom of Ife, the land where all Yoruba people are believed to have originated from. His Imperial Majesty is also known as the Aroli Odudua, a descendant of Odudua, the father of the Yoruba people worldwide. His Imperial Majesty was crowned on the 7th December 
2015, and since then has set out to transform the kingdom of Israel and its place in Nigeria and the world. On his coronation and second speech, His Imperial Majesty stated that he's very passionate about his roots with the determination of bringing the Navy to the forefront of economic and social affairs. His Imperial Majesty also added that he is here to set a good example to show that he has truly been called by God to lead Ilefe into peace, prosperity and unity. His Imperial Majesty has set in place a variety of projects aimed at revitalizing agriculture, sports, real estate and tourism in the Kingdom of Ife. One of the most notable of these is the new Ife City NIC Initiative. Through the House of Odudua Resources Limited, the NIC Initiative will serve to stimulate the economy in Ife and change the face of the kingdom. Last year, His Imperial Majesty honored us by joining the celebrated Comforta event at the Excel Exhibition Center, United Kingdom. He was one of the chief dignitaries of the day and gave an extremely motivating and inspiring speech. His Imperial Majesty spoke of his love for white garment churches and placed emphasis on the fact that the body of Christ is not for the body. Statements like this from people of such caliber serve to show the world that indeed we are not divided in the body of Christ. And through the understanding of one another, we can co-exist and work together in unity. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His Excellency, Chief Olusegun Okukiola Aremu Obasanjo, is popularly known as the 12th President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the 5th Head of State of the Nation. As well as serving as Head of State twice, His Excellency, Chief Obasanjo, was a soldier and general in the Nigerian Army. His Excellency is an alumnus of the Royal College of Defense Studies, the Royal College of Military Engineers, and the Indian Army School of Engineering, to name a few. The government under His Excellency Chief Olusegu Obasanjo invested heavily in the country's infrastructure and also expanded education by increasing the number of universities in the country and introducing universal primary education. Last year, His Excellency Chief Obasanjo joined us at the Excel Exhibition Centre in the UK for the celebration of the Comforter event. His Excellency has openly spoken about his joy and desire to worship amongst white garment churches, and as a holder of a degree in theology, he is known to have given an occasional sermon, which he did, and we hope that we'll hear from him today as well. We're proud. Before I go on to this last statement, I just want to say that I'm proudly an Ebag Ebagel. So that's my daddy. Really? Really? That's my daddy that we're talking about. We're talking about my faith, the gateway. That is Ebagunusa. Shoda. Shoda. Don't be jealous. I am from Ago. Oh. And you do better than that. Yeah. All right. We're proud and honored to have His Excellency Chief Olusego of Basinja join us here in the United States of America to celebrate unity once again, not only as a voice for Nigeria, but as a voice and an advocate for white government churches worldwide. Somebody praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Chief 